Hi, everybody. I'm just sharing the stream. Hi, Guia, Rod Rodmar, I Iva, Marthas. Hi, hi, Thai, Thai. <laughs> How are you guys? Happy Monday. I'm just sharing the live stream. Whew, okay, let's see. Hi, Fatima. Oops. Let me unlock. There you go. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Hold on. How are you? I'm all right. I'm sharing right now. <sighs> Why is it I always have a bad hair day when I'm on Kumu? <laughs> I haven't brushed my hair since Saturday, so... What? Are you that. serious? Yeah. <laughs> I wish Today I had... my hair washing night, or I'm washing my hair tonight, so... Oh! I wash my hair too much. I just can't wait to have my hair dyed. I can't stand this. <laughs> I'm not liking this gray. I can't wait to see how it looks when you uh, dye it. I can't stand it because it's like people think I'm older than I am. And I'm like, no, it's because I my parents have hereditary issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hereditary thing. Let's see. I haven't even shared yet. I don't even, so I think it's just me, you and Lonnie? I don't know. Is Lonnie coming? I'm not even sure. I haven't heard anything from her. I hope so. I'm I like, know she started her job. I don't know what her hours are. Oh, it's so hot. I have the window and fan on. It's hello. The window's open. The fan is on me. I have wind coming from both directions and I'm still hot. <laughs> I just have a fan on. I can't open the windows. My screen sucks. There's like holes in it. Oh, and then things no. kind of break in before I moved in. So, like, it's like, I don't know. So, like, flies get in, like, super fast. And uh, mosquitoes. You can't uh, get it fixed? Or the the thingy? Uh... Wait, are you in an apartment or in a house? I'm in an apartment. They can't what up, it. ladies? Who is that? Funny. Your favorite person Hi. in the wide world. No, I'm just no, I see. I was um, I was sharing. Oh, hi. I was seeing faces like I normally do. Here, let me. How are you? Also share. Good. I'm good. How's your new jobs? Um, we well, I started service today, so we worked at the Sacramento Food Bank. And we were trying to help them organize for inventory. <laughs> wow. There's so much stuff in there. And it's like nice stuff. It's not like what you think. Like, I feel like Goodwill has worse stuff. Does that make sense? Really? Yeah, there's really good stuff in there. I was like, okay. You haven't there... been to the, 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 what do you call it, boutique here in the Bay. In the city, there's a Goodwill boutique, and they have one in LA too, and it has the most bougiest stuff. Oh, my yeah. bad. It also depends <laughs> on the location where you go. Like my mom goes to like the Goodwills in Folsom. Yeah, yeah. They have some really good stuff there also. Yep, Folsom, Roseville, Lodi. I was gonna say go to Roseville and Elk Grove, and you for mm -hmm. sure are going to find, like, hella good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Man, I miss going to Sacramento. We're here. It's <laughs> hot, it's the only thing I don't like. Uh, I wouldn't come next week. Oh, no, it's going to be hot tomorrow here. Yeah. Hot yeah. Like, yeah. Jeremy was supposed to start work tomorrow, but the doctor was like, yeah, no, you're you still need to be out. And then he was like, Aww. oh, thank God, because we saw extreme heat advisory in, in the Bay. Yeah. Like, 
Oh, yep. back. that's real. Like the day that it's like the most, the hottest day in the in the during the summer. So yeah, he got he lucked out hella hard. Yeah. <laughs> I know our headquarters are in the Bay Area and we're trying to buy inventory and we're like, you know what? We're not going to order online. Let's just go there on Thursday. Let's just drive down there and maybe they'll just give it to us because we drove all the way down there. Yeah, that's a <laughs> It's so much cooler. No, that's totally true. And then you get to enjoy being in a cool car. Because yeah. The you mean is full blast. Yeah. Right? You're Ugh. like, I'm fine with that. Let's go. I'm hella cool with that. Oh, that's hella funny. How, yeah. How's your work, uh, Liana? It's okay. Like, the power went out for hella long, and they were just like, you know what? Just go home. Oh. Like, an hour left, so I was like, sounds good. Bye. Where are you at? Or where do you have to drive to? It's not that far. It's like maybe like a 15-minute drive. It's like on Richards Boulevard. Oh, Oh my god, my office is on 21st and K as of today. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so we're not even that far from each other. It's right by that liquor store. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> That's hella funny. I know. I'm taking tomorrow off because I have another job interview, so. Oh. Oh, that's what? good. Okay. okay. Job interview at? Dang, Flexosaurus. Dang, I can't remember which one this one is because I have one, I have a few, like, lined up. Oh. I try to get them all in one day, but... Yeah. But Joe, what up, sir? Current job. Hey, Bazooka Joe. What's up, Bazooka Joe? You're trying to send me to Indiana for like three months. I was like, ooh, I don't Three months? Indiana. Yeah. In the summer? Oh, girl, hell yeah. no. And I was like, I have a wedding to go to. So I'm like, I have to fly out from Indiana back just for a weekend. So. Oh, no. But yeah. then if the pay is good, go for it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> well, I was like looking and I was like, oh, there's like nothing in the place where I'd have to go. It's like maybe like a five hour drive to Chicago. I was like, maybe I could go there on the weekends or Nashville. I wanted to go to Nashville. Isn't, isn't mm -hmm. Indiana where they have the Indy 5000? So you, they have car NASCAR and all that stuff that you can enjoy. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. You might find yourself a NASCAR racer. <laughs> We have NASCAR in the Bay Area. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, sideshows. Yes. Yeah, sideshows in San Jose, right? In Oakland. Yep. There's one this past weekend. Oh, man. Alicops came out when I was on the east side. Man, I haven't been to a sideshow in a minute. Those were dope back in the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still remember two story. We went to a sideshow in San Jose. And I don't know how it happened, but then they yelled, cops, cops, cops. And I wasn't in the car, quite in the car yet, but they were closing the door and my head was still not in the car. So oh, my goodness. I was like, my head! You're not being safe with your body. Yeah. <laughs> how was your guys' weekend? What did you guys do? So, it was my daughter's birthday. Oh, that's right. Officially 15, and we, we celebrated with family, and then we also went to a really fun event at the at City Park, and we were there from 12 o'clock till 7.30. Oh, wow. Wow. We are still sore from playing volleyball and, like, Aww. the sign. So, I you can't oh, see uh. it the shirt I'm wearing. But I have a huge, like, booby tan, just like... <laughs> yes. Hi, Chio. What up? Chi? Wait, do you have a new name? Yes. What? i so refollow you. You should have done Cheesh. Just kidding. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> she said, just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> change. No. I'm going to have to hit your DMs later. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, <laughs> um, hit me in my DMs, girl. <laughs> you gonna go oh. slide into those those DMs? <laughs> I've been getting crazy DMs. Like I've used some. So like, there's a category on Claptrap. So it's either what's in Ron's DMs or what's in Liana's DMs, and I get some crazy. Oh, like one of them was like, "What does your ass taste like?" And Happy Mother's Day, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> Wait, Jeez, it's really hard. 
I didn't. I don't know who the person was. That's helpful. <laughs> well, either way, let's get started because I know we're already ten past the hour, and I really like our topic. So yeah, because uh, you know, of course, Happy Philippine Independence Day! Woo! Yeah. Oops. Wait, I was trying to stay off Kumu, but I can't. <laughs> hey, Jake. How are you, Jake? Uh, Let me get Cam. We should get Bazooka Joe up here so you can talk about it. Are you still here? Yeah, why not? It is, you don't have to be a, a Mare. <laughs> it's a Mare. It's Hood. You'll be part of the Hood. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the hello, yeah. hello. Thank you. Oops. Let me see. Stan's kind of crooked. Why is it crooked? Oops. I'm so confused what's happening right now in my house. Why? What's happening? No, because, like, it's hot and cold, and so, like, the kids got their vaccine today, so I think they're probably, like, a little loopy and off, and uh, it's hella hot, so they're probably, like, I'm, I'm tapped out. Oh. So, I treated them sweetly. I should make it. It's cheaper. Thanks for following. Thanks, Thanks for the follow. Thanks. Oh my gosh. What is up with my phone? Be there? careful. I wonder if that's my friend. No. Uh, yeah, sushi's so good. I love sushi. But, okay, sushi does sound so, good. so back to celebrating Philippine Independence Day. Happy, yes. happy Philippine Independence Day to y'all. Happy Philippine Independence Day. How so curious? Um, how many years has has it been since the since? The, is it like a hundred and ten years? Oh, because the hundred year celebration was. Oh, let me just look it up. <laughs> one hundred twenty-three. All right. 143 years ago? 23. That's a lot of years. Yeah. But, hi, Nina. I don't know. Like, I don't know. We, I don't know. This date, do we really consider it being Independence Day? Since it's not, I mean, from, I mean, it was kind of not really. <laughs> well, because what happened was that we gained, Like the 4th of July? We actually voted on the 4th of July Philippine Independence, but because... Um, because the U.S. didn't want the Philippines to have the same Independence Day as them, they said, well, you had your Independence Day from Spanish rule on June 12th, so why don't you just do that? I don't know. And I... Ugh. It feels rigged. <laughs> it is. Because, I mean, and it wasn't even really... You know, gaining independence. They, you know, secretly took it over from Spain. Mm-hmm. America. So it's like... A telecovert. But I am super grateful for the heroes that made it happen because Gil Dio Aguinaldo, he really was like, fuck shit. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm grateful for their independence. Uh, I think even though the U.S. snuck up on it, if it wasn't for that independence, it would still be under Spanish rule. If we wouldn't be living here in the United States. Our parents would never have immigrated here. We would never have been blessed with the opportunities that we have here in the U.S. And, and the opportunities for our children as well, even though we're still dealing with anti-Asian hate or anti-Asian like sentiments, but at the token, it's just racism in general. Amen, sister. There's still a lot to be uh, grateful for in that essence, you know. Yeah. And even if we are all corrupt in our own little ways, it's a, at least we're corrupt as an independent nation. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh man, I I'm like curious to see the years to come in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. oh. I haven't even been to the Philippines 
since I was 10 years old. So it's a big, probably a big change in comparison to what it is now. Yeah, it's it's yeah. definitely changed. Every time I go, um, there's been so many changes. But yeah, I remember going, what, one of the years I went, it was during the presiden- presidential election. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so what was that? Which one? The the the, the past one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah. years ago. So I wonder what it's going to be like in uh well actually 5 years ago. It's 2021 I keep forgetting cuz yeah, next year's election year again. So Is it every 4 years as well? No, it's every 6 years. Uh, they yeah, they stay president for 6 follow, years. Emily. Do you have hella flies? Yeah, cuz I I left the door open to get some cool air, and they all came in. <laughs> leave the door open. Uh, don't leave your door open. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we have a bad mosquito problem in Sacramento too. So yeah, but bad what? Mosquito problem. Mm-hmm. I know. I my number one thing why I really can't be in Sacramento. It, or actually, two reasons: <laughs> my allergies. Yes. So in Sacramento, and two. The mosquitoes, I'll be dead because of all the mosquito bites. Like, they it's like tricky. me so much. They're like, oh, she seems like fresh meat. Let's go for like, her. Ooh, we like her. <laughs> she got good blood. Let's go for That's her. That's the one. She That's looking like a snack. That's what I go to the Philippines. <sighs> I get bit up so bad when I go to the Philippines. And, it, and you know, they'll tease me out there. They're like, oh, because they like balik bayan blood. So, like, oh, this is new blood. Let's go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. And like, I've so? you know, bug sprays don't really work. It's probably because you sweat it off like within like minutes. In two so, seconds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, mm-hmm. it's hard. <laughs> what are you checking? Oh, the 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 cohorts in my household were looking for the cat so they could steal him from me. <laughs> for some reason, I don't know if I ever told you all this. But the cat likes to kick it in the room with me. Aww. Because he's like, oh, I can kick it with her, but she ain't gonna bother me. <laughs> the cat's like, I like her. <laughs> I'm fine with her. She's okay. That's my friend. But then, the moment I start bugging him or bringing him on camera, he's like, why? Mm-mm. Why'd you touch me? Why'd you touch me? Not a We're thing. friends from a distance. No, seriously. He and I are like distance <laughs> friends. Like, yes. We don't need both. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. I dropped my earring class okay. and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to lose my hook. Oh, but yeah. So, <laughs> back to Philippine Independence Day and being proud to be... Today's topic is about why we're proud to be Pinoy and Pinay. Um, I think being Pinoy and Pinay... What is so beautiful about it is that it's such a hodgepodge of so many different cultures. Yeah. And I was actually talking to my colleague about this today and how uh, when we are lumped in that monolith of being Asian, they don't really learn about the beauty about the Filipino culture. And like when people say, oh, I know Filipino, they only remember two or three things that like stick for them like so for example they remember jolly bees they remember adobo or they remember lumpia yeah mm-hmm. but then there's so much more to our culture and heritage and history we have uh, a hodgepodge of spanish indonesian indian you have um chinese japanese Mm -hmm. uh, influence you have italian influence um and of course american influence so i think what makes us so beautiful is that because we're such a mix of everything the world is finally catching up to filipino Mm -hmm. do y'all agree with that Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's funny. I was just talking about that with my coworkers today, um, because I was saying like uh, we were talking about like you know like uh, taking like the DNA tests, and uh, they were like, "Are you full Filipino?" I was like, "Well, technically yes, but like if you really wanted to break it down, like because I mean like when I when I took my DNA test, I was like ninety one percent Filipino, and then I had a little bit of Chinese, a little bit of Italian." Um, a little bit of Indonesian, and I had 
a few other like um there was like a few like Middle Eastern countries. There was mm-hmm. I can't remember, but there was like two or three listed. Right? So, like Moroccan or yeah. like uh Malay, you know, like it's so like or Bangladeshian, yeah. you know, Nepalese. So yeah, I totally agree. Like I don't know what would come out if I were to do a 23andMe test. Like, have you taken one, Leilani? Uh, no, but my brother has. And he said not to do it. It's a waste of time because we are definitely 75% Filipino and 25% Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's funny because I think Joe said that she took the 23andMe test. Uh-huh. And it came out like almost 100% Filipino. See? <laughs> what's nice is that they show the migration patterns. Yeah. Around like the times that your your family has migrated. And then sometimes your siblings will have uh, different percentages as you. Yeah. I know. Maybe I should try it. Yeah. Um, cool. I, I, I think I'm the only one in my family to get it. Well, my cousin has. Uh, I don't think we've gotten to compare it, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you think yours would be a lot different from your cousin's, or it would be the same? Um, one of them, yeah, I think it was a little different. Because um, I, I know that they had more Pacific Islander blood in them. And uh, do you think mm-hmm. the other side of the, your fa- their family? Yeah, so, because we... She doesn't know anybody from her other side that took it. So that's why, like, she wanted to see which, like, which side that came from. Yeah. I don't think it tells you on that part. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, like, how the 23andMe, like, like, even siblings get a different scope on it. You know? I don't, don't want to do it. <laughs> I heard a lot my brother. of <laughs> I heard a lot of families broke up because of the 23 and me. Yeah, like I've watched a, a few like YouTube videos where it's like, wait a minute, like my dad's Puerto Rican, but I don't have any Puerto Rican blood in me according to my DNA test. So she ends up finding out that's not really her dad. And yeah, it was crazy. Oh, there was another thing I was going to say. Um, Dang, I totally forgot. Oh, what was nice is that I did get to find—I I did find some relatives on there that um, that hit me up on Twenty Three and Me. Uh, like one of them lives in Vallejo. Oh, uh, crazy! So that was a cool too? part of it. They were Filipino too. Um, he's a uh, Filipino and black. Oh wow! Yeah, so he's apparently on my on my dad's side because I guess my my dad's side is fairly big. He's like my my third cousin, I believe. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we haven't gotten to meet up yet. But like, uh, we uh, we hit up each other up uh, once in a while on Instagram. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. So that was pretty cool. That's what I actually liked about that. I got to connect with a few family members um, through Twenty Three and Me. I definitely want to try it, but it's the Pakistani side that I want to see. Who mm-hmm. that. But um, I digress. But that's crazy, though. That's like all mixed heritage in like all the families, you know. Um, so I have a couple of questions that I kind of posted on our little chat. And so mm-hmm. I'd love for us to kind of have a like a round off like about of like what you think are your favorite things about of the filipino culture so like for for first one which is an easy one like your favorite filipino food (sighs) Food. i I guess i would have to say i like stuff with peanut butter because uh, like that dish that I was talking about, the ampalaya dish with peanut butter, that's also it's like, so good. Also, yeah, I love your mom's ampalaya. <laughs> yeah, like I still don't know if that's like a family recipe or a regional thing, but um, I, I've, I'll be really honest with you, I've never heard of ampalaya with peanut butter, and I'm kind of curious if anyone else has heard that, like in the chat down below. Like, yeah. comment 
if you guys have had, if any of you have ever had it, I'm super intrigued. I Let wish us I know. Had. Are we alone? Yeah. Uh, Maybe your mom came up with it and was like, I don't have anything to add to this. Let's try peanut butter. Well, maybe it was like my nana because I know she, uh, she learned it from my nana. I don't know where she learned it from, but um, yeah, it's it's hella good. Um, and I, you know, growing up, Uncle has some is an acquired taste. Yeah. Yes, it is. I'll I'll try anything uh. once. <laughs> Um, I highly recommend trying it with peanut butter. It'll change the game. I have to get some and try. You have to send me the recipe so I can make it over here. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it first because I don't know. Ex I know what's in there. I haven't made it yet, so I'm gonna try to make it and then uh, I'll let you know. Yes, or you make it and then we'll come over. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do both. That's so funny. So what about you, Lani? What, what, what Oh, I, some of my stuff is more of like a comfort. So like Nilaga's, my, my mom's Nilaga is my favorite. Yeah. Like, um, I could eat it without rice. I could eat it with rice. Yeah. Um, of course, if you don't eat rice, you can just eat more gulai and meat. <laughs> Do it with a cauliflower rice and it actually balances. Oh, out. yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Just but then again, it. oh, sorry. Oh, no, go no, ahead. go ahead. Oh, I was going to say there's like beef steak and like um, menudo and michado. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I love All that stuff, too. You yeah, know? I, th those are all so good. Yeah. If I were to say my go to's, like when I just really crave Filipino food, I agree. Like beef nilaga mm -hmm. or um or sinigang. Like the yeah, sinigang too. Yeah, see all that. What up, DJ Philly? Hi, Dola, Sotanghon. Like, mm -hmm. I will take all of it. <laughs> well, I like, I like bulalo. Wait, oh. wait, what? bulalo. Bulalo, oh yes, mm -hmm. I love bulalo because I love the oxtail or yeah. the beef marrow. Mm. Yeah, honestly, mm -hmm. I have banana in it. Wait, what? You guys put banana in it? Yes. Yeah, so the banana good. part. But yeah, but I think everyone battles for the the marrow. You know? Yeah. yeah. If you don't get the marrow, it's kind of like you're all like, yeah, like wah, wah. or don't you hate it when you get a piece and the marrow fell out and it's yeah. like lost in the sea of soup? Yes. It's like, no! That was supposed to be mine. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. I, I totally forgot. I, I've never tried adobo with peanut butter, but apparently a certain region puts peanut butter. Okay, uh, butter. let's try that. I think Ooh, you know what else I like? Puchero. What's Which that? One? What? Which one? Puchero. Wait, am I saying it wrong? Oh, Hold yeah. on. Hold on. I'm like, what is that? Hold on. Maybe I have the wrong recipe. No, you have it right. Okay. Um. My mom makes it with oxtail. Oh, I love it. I haven't had it too often. Mm -hmm. I've, I've had... I'm trying to think. I think I've had like. It's expensive. That's why. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> so expensive. Yeah. On yeah. kare kare is on point, but you have to have it with bogolong. If you don't, I think you've been you've blasphemized the the. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like well, uh, I'm in that category because I'm weird and I don't like um, bogolong. Bogolong. But well, so when I was little, I, when I didn't like bogolong, I would eat it with pates instead. Yeah, but see, I'm just weird about seafood. But see, you have beef milaga or bulalo with the freaking patis. That's how you have it. Yeah. Right? Yes. I'm hungry. <laughs> I know. I ate earlier, but I'm like, ooh. Favorite Filipino dessert? Oh, man. Um, I like uh, Sans Rival. Yes. That's like my favorite. That's one of my faves, but I haven't had it in so long. Uh, I had it a couple months ago. Thanks for following, Genevieve. Does Ginetha on count as a dessert? Yes, yeah, that does. That is my that's favorite. totally yes. I my I think it's because of the 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 balls. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's about them balls. 
Um, I'm trying to think what other Filipino desserts that we I like. Balls. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bola bola. The whole I love the whole. Yeah. That's so good. Like, curious. Do y'all like love halo halo? See, I have. I think I have a, like a more kind of like. I halo halo. I love, but it's not my first choice to pick as a dessert. Yeah. It's just so sweet, and you feel like you got diabetes like in one cup. So. Right, it's like a diabetes well, I, crack. It's- I think it all depends on like what you put in it to make it not so yeah. sweet. Like for me, I don't like it because it's so filling. Like it's a whole meal on yeah, in it. It is all the beans in there. But that's yeah. how we eat. Yeah, like what? you like if I if I eat a big dinner and eat halo halo, uh, mm-hmm. I yeah I. I'm like straight food coma after. <laughs> you know those little cups? Like that would be enough for me. Yeah, but they I don't need a big old one. Big. They always make it hella big. And you know what? The only thing though, I, I'm I confess, I do pick and choose what I like to eat in the halo halo. Yeah, it makes sense. That's okay. Like I always you know what you go, like. Like I always go for the pinipini first, and like the the sabat or the leche flan inside, or like. The, or the jellos. Like, I always go for the soft things first, and then the beans are, like, the last option, like, because there's nothing else left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for the hello, hello. Yay! <laughs> thank you. Um, Bash those hearts and give us hello, hello. Thank you. Thanks. I love buku salad. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Put uh, on for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I have some in the freezer. So I have a really funny joke about Toron. What? Great. What did the magical banana say when it was fried? Toron. <laughs> <laughs> we joke the same. That's how I figured it out. <laughs> Hi, Ivy. Hi, Hello. Hello. And I, I and I can go for just one. simple banana cue too. Like when Ooh, I remember the yes. and a street vendor oh. selling banana cue, I always stop to get one or five. Oh, one or five? <laughs> <laughs> just in case, you never know. You might drop one. Oh, no, I'll I'll buy it from like each stand. So like every time I pass a banana cue stand, like I'll buy one. <laughs> Oh, man, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so I have a question because me and my friends were talking about it this weekend about bolot. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, it all depends on how developed the duck is for me. That's what a lot of them are saying. They're like, if the if the baby is like still soft and like mushy... Oh, then they'll throw down. But if it's like furry Ew. and Sorry. crunchy. No. Like what up, El Ray? Yeah, same. If there's feathers on the in the bullet, yep. like I can't eat it. But if it's not as developed, then I can do it. Nope. I won't lie. I can go for the yolk and the sabal, but I'm too afraid to try the rest of it. It just, yeah. just the thought of it, like, Mm-mm. I, I, I keep looking at the eyes. <laughs> I, I, I think that's why head. I don't like fish. I always cut the head off. Before no. I, the <laughs> I, I try not to look at it. Like, I'll just, uh, just put it in my mouth. <sighs> put it in your mouth. I was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, nope. like, um, when I when it was a little too developed, like it had like a, a kind of like a metallic taste to it. It almost kind of tasted like liver a little bit. That's what they say. It tastes like very irony, right? Yeah, I cool. I, I don't like when it's like that. Mm-hmm. Still talking about bullet? Yes. 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 Hi, Julius. Hey, Julius. You know so okay, so now this is an interesting conversation that we talked about. Let's. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so what do you think is the weirdest Filipino cuisine, but is so good that you would still eat it? 
weird. Uh, like you know, there's there's bolot. Then there's like chicharon bolaklak, or there's papaitan, or there's diniguan. You know, or what else is there? Um, I'll eat papaitan and diniguan. Um, well, it's funny because like my mom, because like we're we're Tagalog, and so I didn't know I was eating papaitan. It was the iso. I like iso. Iso is good, but you don't even know what you're eating until you find yeah. out. You're like, oh, that's what? what? Um. Yeah, like I was at my aunt's house and she's Ilocano and they had goat Papa Ethan and like I was eating it. My mom's like, you know what you're eating? <laughs> I was like, no, what? She was like, you're eating goat. We don't eat goat. I was like, well, I am. It's Girl, good. I like goat. Yeah, yeah, nothing I wrong with goat. Mom's a you know my fave though is when they do goat kiloin. Goat uh, Oh. I don't know I goat. It's like ceviche. It's still hella good though. Like, I still remember when my grandpa would make the kilowin, he would still add, like, the little bit of skin sliver with it. And you're like, hmm. <laughs> in between. Hell of a rock, dude. <laughs> there was this one. I hella white girl that. Did you hear me? I said, it's hella. Sarap. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, because the rest of the stream you did fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, Did you're allowed one pass, okay? Yeah, there was this one dish that I was in the Philippines that I didn't try. I almost did, but I just couldn't get myself to. It was when I was in Palawan, and it was the wormwood. Oh, did you not try it? I, no, I why didn't you try it? Because it was so big. I was like, do you have a smaller one? <laughs> I saw it on uh that that Travel Network show, and I was like in shock. Did have you ever seen it? Lonnie, mm -mm. pull it in. They pull it out of the wood of the tree, and it's like Ooh. a white worm, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger nope. and nope. bigger. And what they do is they chop it up. They put it with just vinegar, lemon juice, salt, and pepper, and a little bit of ginger, and then they say just suck it. Yeah, Alex would eat all that stuff, I'll but for me. I won't. It can be whole. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they give it to you whole, right? And mm. I was like, you can't, I was like, I can't get a little piece. They're like, no, like, it'll die. Like, you have to get it, like, all of it. I was like, that's hella big. They're like, it tastes like, it tastes just like oyster. And I was like, but it don't look like oyster. Yeah, see, I don't like oysters either. Uh, I like oysters, but <laughs> I don't like the small kinds. Like, I can't do the, the big size raw. I can yeah. only do those grilled. Yeah. So... Yeah, I was like the little ones are better because you just go done. Yeah. Know? Yeah, that one was just too big. I was like, uh I'm not trying to deep throw a wormwood right now. Like forever. Well, I will say though, when I was growing up, my favorite thing to eat were these two things. I don't know if it's an Ilocano thing, but I remember them making jumping shrimp and they would ceviche it, but it was live jumping shrimp. And you would literally pop the head off and just suck it out of the shell. That was so good. And you just ate it with rice. And then this other one, it was sea snails that were salted and fermented. Do you Did you guys ever have that or no? I, I've had sea snails, yeah. It's so good. I'm not into that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so really boring. Good. It's really good. See, DJ Elray knows jumping yeah. shrimp with vinegar is hella bomb. Alex would probably eat it. I haven't had there. shrimp. I just want to try it though, because I remembered watching something, but it was it was a Thai recipe, but something similar. Yeah. It was like lime juice and the jumping shrimp. But yeah, that looked hella good. They actually have a Filipino restaurant that's somewhere here in the Bay Area that actually services it but it's like hard to get the jumping shrimp oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. but Lonnie I think you would like the the sea snail because they brine it and so you eat it over rice and you suck the the snail out and you eat it with like kamates it's hella good <laughs> <She's> like, <"Yeah." laughs> it's so good I don't know yeah, I like I like sea snails. I'm um, weird about textures and smells. <laughs> you don't even notice it though because they got so salty that they become more chewy than slimy. 
Right? Like, right? No. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like no, no. I'm, I'm only allowed, allowed two thousand milligrams of salt per day. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna waste it on shrimp. <laughs> you on on sea still, sea still. <laughs> oh yeah, like, um, <laughs> I like shrimp, but I can't do it live. Okay, that would freak me out. <laughs> like it's no, so good though. That's nice. <laughs> Hello. There's yeah, that's Alex. <laughs> yes. Hello. I find it to Carlo. <laughs> I know. I like that name. That's so funny. we did Filipino food. We did Filipino dessert. What would you say is your favorite like Filipino tradition that you like like kind of is like owned in from your childhood like what's that one Filipino tradition that you still find yourself doing all the time we put up a star every Christmas even though we don't live with my parents like a Christmas star and the Christmas uh -huh. or a photo sorry star? the Christmas star hey Hi, Beth, everyone. hi um Uh, I I don't know if we'd really do any Filipino traditions. Like my my parents don't really do too many traditions. Yeah, or, um, we've like formed uh, our own. Like what? I'm curious. Like we do uh, Christmas morning, we do breakfast kamayan in our pajamas. Aww. So we have the banana leaves and then you know a boodle fight. Yeah. Oh wow! That's would be, actually um, a big tradition. I guess ours would be like All Saints Day. We that's what we do. That's I think that's the only Filipino tradition that we do. Like, what do y'all do on All Saints? Hang out in this. Well, just hang out at the cemetery. The cemetery. That's true. I think that's the only Filipino tradition that we really do. I told y'all that I don't go to the cemetery, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, sorry, I love you, but no. <laughs> <laughs> So if any of you die, I'm like, sorry, I love you. Just say, say hi in my dreams. That's the only thing. I'm going to haunt you instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, and I had talked about this. I don't remember which stream. It was a while back, though. Like, I was saying, like, what I would want with my remains. Like, I said that I would want my head to be cut off and someone to keep my skull. What? Because you love skulls. I'll and she wants soul. to watch y'all. I don't know who would inherit that. Who would inherit it? Would it be Bestie? Uh, if I, I guess, like, if I don't have any kids, Liliana's watching <laughs> you <laughs> forever. If I don't have any kids, forever. Uh, yeah. Ron's <laughs> like, uh, uh. <laughs> Wait a second! I didn't say all that. I didn't agree to it. But yeah, like, cause I don't care about the rest of my body. Like, you can flush me down the toilet. Just, I just want someone to keep my skull. <laughs> Sorry, this is kind of off topic, but if you guys listen to Bobby Lee's um, podcast, he talks about his dad all the time and how him and his brother split his dad's ashes. But oh. Bobby Lee has the legs because he doesn't want his dad's top half because he doesn't. He has his penis. Yeah, but he doesn't want his dad to like see him and like haunt him and stuff like he can only like have legs to <laughs> to walk around you know, but how would he know that it's the legs because i don't know they creamy <laughs> they mix everything up yeah so it's so, like everything like i don't know I was, about to say that. I was like how would they know unless you know they specifically ask you know once it's burned like split it in half yeah they probably did i yeah, wouldn't doubt funny. it but, but still how do you know he got the that's gonads, true. dude. That's hella funny. That's hella funny. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I have so we it's kind of hard with the Filipino tradition, but um, what about favorite Filipino karaoke song? I don't do karaoke. Oh, um, I stick with Jessa Saragosa. Yeah. I only have two songs, okay, that I could rock in Tagalog, so. What are they? What are they? I'm the other one's Lea Salanga, or, yeah, Nandito Oko. See? Those are my, like, two favorite mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. 
Like, if I were to say that the 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 go to karaoke for women, like everyone always, mm-hmm. Jessa Zaragoza's Bakit Pa. Yeah. Yep. Leia Salangas and then Dito Ako. Yep. And if you're a guy, oh shoot, what's a good guy one? Um, growing up, my dad always listened to Jose Marie Chan and um, there's a girl in the song. Regine Velasquez. Yes. Be careful with my heart. Yeah. <laughs> if you love me like you tell. Yes. And I always thought that was so corny as a kid. And I was like, uh, again. <laughs> you know, like, like, with my, even with my family, they didn't really sing any Tagalog songs. It was always like American songs. Yeah. Like my my mom or not my mom, but like uh, my titas. What was hers again? Uh, she really liked like Connie Francis, <laughs> so she sang a bunch of Connie Francis songs. Who's Connie Francis? I don't even know who that is. Here, let's look her up. I'm like, thank you for the hollow hollow Polly. Thank you. What up, Ben? Connie Francis. I'm like, who is that? Uh, <laughs> um, it's a uh, an American pop singer. Oh man, see, if they were to put make karaoke when we were like, can you imagine though, when we get old, the karaoke songs that we're gonna sing? Oh yeah. <laughs> we're gonna sing WAP. No, I'm gonna <laughs> As old ladies. Like, we're gonna sing like freaking like Oh, what's a good what's a funny one? We're gonna uh like we're already started, like like singing waterfalls or uh-huh. <laughs> like weak um biggies like biggie 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. we're like gonna sing like all boys to men we're gonna sing can you imagine the this generation they're gonna sing wop and like yep what what other songs are there they're gonna sing savage love yes like, actually, that's a good question. So, as a Filipino, and we're not even, we can't even say just Filipino. We have to say, as Filipino-American, we've established yeah. a lot of different cultural traditions already just in our community in itself. So, if we were to look back on the traditions that our elders gave to us, what do you think is something that we would pass down to our generation, the future generations? What do you think is our going to be our like shining glory? I guess you can say, you know, of maintaining our Filipino culture. Um, I I feel like. It would just be to hang out with your family to really cherish the ones you love. Like I've, my family's been in my COVID bubble, you know, like we see my mom every week and if we don't go there, they come here or they'll, they'll drop off vegetables. Like we're not going to their house. Like, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm like, you told us to come over. Like we could have just went to your house to pick up these vegetables. (laughs) We could have waited one day. They're like, no, but it's okay. I want to drop off. Now. Yeah, they just come anyway. They're like, oh, we, you know, because we all honestly, like, the siblings and I, we kind of live down the street from each other. So my parents just go down the five exit and then they go boop, 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 and then they go back. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Do you find that since COVID, you're closer to your relative, your family, or more distant from your relatives? I think it's the same for me. Yeah. It hasn't changed. Yeah. By the way, what's oh, so they want to know the So Ben, the X um replaces the A and the O so that it could be for both genders. So it's also or, to be okay. non-binary and, for it. But see, it's more of a Filipino American kind of yeah. assimilation yeah. because we're we're more we're giving an opportunity for the for all gender bias everyone open for it yeah not just pinoy and pinay yeah that's why you put the x there instead yeah what are you ben oh ah or 
<laughs> so wait, so we're talking about like what Filipino traditions we would want to carry on. Yeah, what would you like to carry on to the future generation? <laughs> oh, that's hard. That is hard. Because when I, when you ask me that, I reflect and I'm like, you know what? We don't really follow like. Yeah, we don't do that many traditions. I think the one that maybe would be the easiest to keep alive would be the monopo. Yeah. The monopo. Do you all do monopo? I'm kind of dying. I only do it in the Philippines. I only do it with my Lola, if I remember, to be honest. Okay. And she's not is, doing that right now. There's only certain relatives that still want. I'm a papa. Oi, bastos <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I have some papaya over here. You want to eat some? <laughs> I recently had a papaya and I laughed so hard after I cut it in half. Just looking at it. it. Dila is real. What's Dila? <laughs> what? Tongue. I bust <laughs> I make the monopo to me because I've earned it. Do you know the interesting thing, though? In I feel that, exactly, Ron. Ron, you should join us in... Oh, I'd love to hear the guys. Take, take yeah, you guys can come up uh, and join us. A little short so, today. So, in- interestingly, in our family, um, my extended relatives the old elder generation they want manopo but my grandma and grandpa were like don't do manopo on us just hug us and kiss us we'd rather have yeah. this is over the manopo so i've never really done manopo like outside of my well inside my family outside you know we do it out of, out of respect for everyone else but even my kids like <laughs> they don't do much oh my god <laughs> um, I never did it to like my nana. Only, the only people that did it to my nana were my cousins in the Philippines because they didn't grow up close to her. Uh, so, oh, I see. Her. But I didn't. I never did it with my Lola on the other side because she and I were never close. She was pretty Americanized already. Yeah. Um, but in the Philippines, I I still do that out there. I think a lot of like traditional like things that are done in the Philippines kind of got lost in translation here in the U.S. as more generations grew up. Like, I'm still considered, like, second generation, so we still hold some of the traditions. And then, like, with my kids, I try and hold them, but then it's really hard that they barely speak Tagalog or understand any of it. You know what I mean? So... I already feel sad that by the time they have kids, they might not know any Filipino. Yeah. Other than um, oh, that reminds me. I used to do monopo to my to my godparents. Yeah. And even till this day, my Nino will be like, "I was like, are you gonna give me money?" <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what? Some of my sister's friends do it to me, and I think it's funny because I'm like, I'm not that much older than y'all. Okay. <laughs> Can we? But thank you. I do have some wisdom, but not that much. Okay, <laughs> y'all are probably smarter than me. So, <laughs> or do your do your families do the ate kuya thing? Yeah. No. Um. My kids do ate kuya, and like manong and ading, mm-hmm. and my brother doesn't call me ate or manang. Mm. Yeah, both my brothers call me ate. Like I used to smack yeah. them if they didn't call me ate. Yeah. Really. <laughs> We didn't do it growing up, and then um, at one point, my dad was like... Where'd you go, Bestie? I know, where'd you go? Come back. Sorry, I guess we should let you talk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but um, at one point, when the when everyone was younger, my dad was like, okay, you guys start with $40. If I hear you slip in, um, you get a dollar deducted if you don't call each other Ate and Kuya. But it was easier for me because I'm the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't think I counted in that. So you didn't even get the forty dollars. No, oh, I always get gypped. It's always oh, like it that though. See, my because my I think because my brother and I were so close in age, we mm-hmm. were like eighteen months apart. How so many? Eighteen months. Oh, okay, yeah. So they treated us like we were twins. So yeah, that's the reason why they never really called me. They my- never said call your sister Ate, and mm-hmm. also because I think because I'm mixed too. So my dad and mom yeah. didn't want. 
like a language favoritism. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's called by the name. Okay. My brother, my my middle brother, he's only uh, eleven months apart from. Yeah, me. you guys are Irish twins, just like Whoa, yeah, my siblings are too. Added on hella fast. I know. My mom's nasty. She's like, yeah, I didn't even get a period in between you two. I'm like, ill. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't even wait the waiting period. But, but right. Like, two months. Two months. I was like, that's nasty. <laughs> she was like, let's just get it over with. Just go. <laughs> No, she wasn't. That wasn't planned. I think I was the only planned baby. She was saying like, "Oh yeah, that's a myth. Like you can't get pregnant while you're breastfeeding." Because I got pregnant. <laughs> that's a lie. Yeah. Who said that? I don't know. I thought Liars. it was me too, and then I got. I, I have I had the second one. <laughs> Lies. I was like, man. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even have time to recuperate, Mm y'all. Okay. What's your favorite Filipino word? (laughs) Bulbul. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I said it hella fast. And do you guys remember what we said earlier? <laughs> we like what? <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to think if I have any other ones. Just any word or a bad word? Well, we're gonna do both. So regular <laughs> word and bad word. I don't know if I have a favorite one. I like bull bull and what's the other ones that I like? Kip kip. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Um, I just love it because you know I used to work with little kids, so when they'd say they need their pack pack, I'm like, <laughs> it is a back pack. <laughs> <laughs> um, tu mochila, no, <laughs> your backpack, so mochila. <laughs> that's so funny. If I were to say mine, I would still say mahal is still one of my. Favorites. Oh yeah, like. Even though Jay, Wait, Jay, what up? Hi, Jay. Your love isn't here, my friend. Sorry. <laughs> He's representing for them. Yeah, I'm like, you're stuck with. If you want to represent Joe? You can come, come on up. We're talking about your favorite word. What's your fil- favorite? See, most of mine are in Ilocano. Yeah. Well, what is it? Like, I don't know what. Well. Okay, and Nam is still my favorite Ilocano word. <laughs> well, then that would be swear word. Yeah. Yeah, see? That's why I was like, hmm. Okay, and Nam is still my favorite swear word. I do like hearing bastos. Like, every time somebody shouts it, it's like, makes me giggle anytime. Because it's hella funny. Like, ay, basto. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, I guess my favorite Ilocano word. I'm not Ilocano, but mine would be. Well, dang, there's a theme here. Ormut. <laughs> See? They're just, they just sound funny. It's just no, like. Ew. No, it's true. Like, Gilly Gilly still makes me laugh. Yes, I love that word. See, there you go. That's, yeah. Like, ang bangsit ang Gilly Gilly mo. Ang gibaho ang Gilly Gilly mo. <laughs> what other words that I like? Uh, like, I actually was going to name my daughter this, but my ex-in-law named her dog that name, so I couldn't name her it anymore. Oh. I, I really like the word Mahalaya. Oh. Oh. I thought I thought that would have been such a pretty name for my daughter. It is until you name a dog. A dog that name. <laughs> You're like that was supposed to be name her too of that. And I was like, no. You're like maybe if my daughter was born first, okay. Yeah. I know. Well, I got lucky. She got she her her name is Malaya, so at least she still got the freedom part. Yeah. I like that. But then she's a pain in the ass because she's too independent. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> gee, where'd that come from? <laughs> I know. No, it's true. I really believe, like, the name 
that your parents name you, you really become that personality. Ah! No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm a heavenly flower. <laughs> know what my name means yeah. i forgot because your your name's like my sister's name uh, let me let's look it up hey google what's the definition of the name liana to twine around wait yeah, it's twine around okay. <laughs> or sun or sun ray Ah, now we can sing to you. Whenever we see you, we can go, you are my sunshine, my only. Aww. <laughs> well, I don't know, because there's, like, so many different ones. And they said, like, there's another one. It means, like, lioness. Oh, yeah. yeah. And in different cultures, it's different. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think of my swear words that I like. Ormut is pretty funny. <laughs> so- okay, so my dad's ex-girlfriend... Um, she used to be like, "I booking on Maria," and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> "Well, you yeah, are not supposed to say that." That when she uh, when she gets surprised or when she gets scared. <laughs> okay, so this one I always laugh because of a funny joke that happened regarding my grandma and my cousin. So, hey, welcome back, Ron. Um, welcome back. So I like apple juice, apple juice <laughs> That's cute. Because my at the time, it still makes me laugh every time I think of this. Because one day we were helping my grandma babysit my our little cousins, and they were like babies at the time, right? It was yeah. me, my older cousin, and so my older cousin was helping with lunch, and she was bringing juice for the kids. And so she goes to my grandma, but at the time, my grandma was getting mad at two of the kids because they were fighting, and she goes, she was like, "Grandma, do you want apple juice or?" Or orange juice. And she goes, Apple juice, go! Apple juice, go! <laughs> I my cousin, my cousin, nice. My cousin brings back the apple juice. And she goes, what are you giving me apple juice for? She goes, because <laughs> then my cousin's like, you asked for apple juice. And you she, said you want your apple juice. Like, apple juice, go! <laughs> <laughs> you said your apple juice. So I brought it. Right? <laughs> so that's apple juice is my favorite. That's all funny. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not really a swear word. They use it like the like the ipulke thing. It's yeah. like a yeah. It's not really a curse word. It's usually because like, they're. It's not, but to hear from such religious people that but, you shouldn't put people's name in vain, you probably shouldn't talk about their pukenke. Okay. Uh, tell me How about that. <laughs> That they used it in like l- l- hysterics. Like instead of using it as a swear word, they use it as like a like a laughing. Like thing. OMG. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, I oh I, <laughs> I had a preschooler that um and I knew her family, so it's even funnier. But you know, she's four. But we'd be in she'd be in class, you know, and she what would she say? Um Oh my gosh, why did I forget? <laughs> Yeah, it was weird. Like my mom, my my, my mom says I poke a lot. Oh, sorry. And she's... then my nana I would say I teet it a lot. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's a big shocker, she'll be like I teet it ng kabayo. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're that's a lot. That's <laughs> whoa, okay. That's... You're like whoa, thanks, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I don't know to. I don't know how to react to that one. Oh man, that's a little funny. Oh gosh, I'm like crying from laughing and sl- being sleepy. That's oh, it's a combination. <laughs> All right, so I have another question for you. So now that we're talking about like funny swear words, and it comes back with like funny, fond memories, what would you say? Because I think all of us have been to the Philippines. What would you say is your fondest memory in the Philippines? Gosh, I've only been a few times. It was a long time ago. Yes, my most recent one would be getting my tattoo. 
Mm-hmm. Um, when I got to go to the mountain province. Was it scary yeah. when you went? Because it was like hella far. Uh, it was it was intense because it was a 12 hour drive. Aye, aye, aye. We had to hike up. Well, and then I had to ride on someone's dirt bike because uh, the road wasn't finished to get there. So I had to ride a dirt bike and it's like, you know, a small little road on the mountain and they're going hella fast uh, around this mountain. So that was pretty scary. And then that, and then you had to like my, hike an hour away just to get up there. So it was pretty scary because, you know, it's not like a, it doesn't have a hiking trail. Yeah. And, uh, and there's this one spot where my mom freaked out at. It's to get to the next mountain. And mm-hmm. all they had was like a little cement uh bridge with no like uh side rails but it's like this wide to cross. Mm-hmm. that's hella crazy did and your mom was, get about, a tattoo like, also what's that did your mom get a tattoo also no, she just didn't want me to go by myself so oh that was nice that love well rona christy was saying asking did y'all grow up here in the u.s and, and actually Yes, for me, I was born and raised here in the U.S. What about you, Leilani and Liana? Same. Yeah, I was born crazy. in the Bay, moved to Sacramento. Pero parang nung pag Tagalog, kunti lang pero mas magaling parang like dami na tayo kasi they don't even speak it a lot here in sa U.S. Like the first gen, se- second generation hindi marunong, di ba? Yeah, correct. <laughs> I'm trying. My Tagalog is so bad. I have. You're to- doing great. Taglish na lang. <laughs> I need to watch the movies. Well, I mean, but- they speak Taglish all the time, anyways. So what? Yeah. They speak Taglish all the time. So. Oh. I was born here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Oh. I oh. Okay. So oh. the opposite. Okay. Oh, baliktad. Yeah. So what is that? What are What do they call that when they are born here, but then? Live in the Philippines. There's a, like a term, but I can't remember the term. Natu- naturalized. <laughs> do you miss Texas, or do you like living in the Philippines more? Where are they now? I wonder, like, when they moved. I'm here. Oh, in you're back in Texas. Ah. Okay. Ooh, what's your weather like right now? Twenty. Nah. Okay. okay. Wow. Wild. Awesome. So wait, uh, this is kind of off topic. So like, would you guys consider being um, a dual citizen? Um, depending on my work. I don't know. That's a tough question. Because it is tough. I don't have any family in the Philippines anymore. Oh, like, they're, here. they're all here in the U.S., Actually, I would work. I would be able to get a job quickly if I did go over there. I I don't like heat, so that's why I would have. A I don't either. Heat. My mom, like, in for college, I considered going there. My mom was like, "You're not gonna last a month." Mom, that's rude, but she's so right. <laughs> like seriously, I. It sounds really weird. We were in Vegas, and I literally was like, I can't stand this. Ish. It's hot. I'm like, I'd rather be in cold. So then, you know, you can wear layers, and you can take yeah. off. But well, once you're, like, in hot, you're stuck in that that, yeah. that zone, you know? I can't do dry desert heat. I was going to say, there is a difference, though, because in the Philippines, it'd be humid. But in yeah. Vegas, it's dry. I actually would take humid or uh, dry heat over humid heat. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be sweaty. I don't like sweat. I don't like either. I don't need either. either. I know. I have a camiseta under my shirt because I was like, it's going to be hot. I don't have any camiseta. It's okay. Well, it's not. California, Rona. It's hot there, but not as hot as here. I I think I can live out there. Um, I, I mean, when I was still working remote, I was, my original plan was to be six months there, six months here. Well, I have a question for you, though. Like, you brought up camiseta. Is that a Bay Area thing that we wear camisetas even if it's hella hot? Mm-mm. Under our shirts? That's why I wear it under because I wanted to sweat on the camiseta, not the other shirt. Is that the reason why our moms used to always make us wear camisetas? 
Probably not. And the pawis goes to the camiseta. Not That's why I wear it. But they probably thought it was cold considering where they used to live. Because even my Lola used to, even here in Sacramento, in the summer, my Lola would make us wear a jacket when we played outside. I'm like, <sighs> it's hella hot. <laughs> why do we have a jacket on? <laughs> you wear a jacket? Wow. She would make us do that. She's like, oh, it's cold. Wear a jacket. It's cold. You put your jacket, huh? Like, and no. Then you come out inside and it's like hella air conditioned. I know. And you're like more cold. <laughs> that's probably why my dad probably froze her out. <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. Okay. So, what was the other question? I was going to ask you. So, do you wait? Did we all say the fondest memory in the Philippines yet? No. Um, no, you didn't either, right, Fatima? Yeah, I, go ahead. Do you have, you have yours? My fond memory was going to Santa Ana when I was like 10. And I remember the milkman coming with the best milk chocolate I ever had in my entire life. In Milo? And, no, it was like <laughs> fresh milk chocolate. Like Ooh. it had the stars. And yeah. They gave they asked you when they when the milkman came, they're like, Do you want white milk or chocolate milk? And they said get both. And I kid you not, that was the best chocolate milk. Like even now, I don't think I I think the closest is the Rosas mm-hmm. or like like black milk that they sell. That was so good. And then I still remember when there was a typhoon. And we were out. We were outside, um, making paper boats on the floods. But it was still hella hot and sunny. I still remember those two fond, fond memories. Aww, that's cute. I like that. What about I don't think I had any childhood memories in the Philippines that I that were? Like, oh, I have two. Cause um, let me see. I went when I was eight and 14. I don't remember anything from when I was three. But when I was eight, I remember going because uh, my cousins lived in San Andres. And what we did all the time was go to the store at the corner and buy those plastic bubble things with that you blow through a straw. Yeah, 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 that was my yeah. favorite. Um, and even as an adult, if I see it, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I need that. Like, <laughs> I need one of those. So I want one. Oh, you don't remember it was like those bubbles like that you blow the straw oh, plastic balloons yes yeah, yeah. plastic it. balloons yeah dude i used to get high off those things like not intentionally but you know like the fumes from those, yeah those are hard to find because you know they're not really safe <laughs> and that's why when i find them i'm like i need it like those give me that back and they brought them back with the easier like blower of course they made it easier and I'm like, y'all suck. You, you yeah, have to do it the right way. That takes the fun out of it. Yeah, yeah you mess up every single time. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? I remember getting headaches when you try and blow. Because you blow so yeah. freaking hard. Because then you're like, <laughs> you you put too much, and you're like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm stuck inside the straw. Oh, yes. those are hard to find. Like they when are. I was there in 2019, like I couldn't even find them. Like not even like you know, like the like the the small like stores in the province. Like they don't have it. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Cause those are like fond childhood memories. Yeah. Yeah, I used to love those. Oh. Yeah, Cause I I did briefly go to preschool out there. Cause I was out there for a few months when I was like four. Mm-hmm. Crazy, yeah. I still remember a lot of stuff when I was four. I just remembered hating the pizza there when I was four because it just didn't taste good. Because they- oh, yeah, it's different. I, you know what I remember when I was little? Because I we went there when we, I was really little, and when yeah. I was a little older, I remember the hot dogs, and I was so confused when I saw a pink hot dog for the first time. I was like, "What is this?" Yeah. And- and then they would put it with uh, marshmallows. Yeah. Ooh. I remember that. I, was like, I actually liked it because it was sweet and salty at the same time. Right? But it was just like... Hella weird. How is this a combo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> well, 
back to uh, the a few more questions. I I'm kind of curious, like for you, if you could name a Filipino or Filipino American that has really like impacted you or touched your heart in like some inspirational way. Um, you guys, all my kamades. Uh, yeah. I open them. <laughs> I mean, you guys for sure have made a big impact on my life, and I'm so grateful to have you guys. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Hi, Hi. Internet. Come up. How long have you been? Uh, I've actually known Lonnie since uh, high school. Mm -hmm. um, Fatima, I met her a few years ago, but we didn't really like start really hanging out until Kumu. Mm -hmm. So we we actually spent more time virtually than we have physically. Yes, that's very true, <laughs> and I love every moment of it. Amen, sister. Yeah, we do seem bonded. I have a genuine love for them. And that's why I mean they are a major influence and yes, have, uh, much impact on my life. Uh, yeah. this past year, I agree, one hundred, yeah. one thousand, one million percent. <laughs> I feel like we 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 helped each other like open yeah. up hearts, minds, and spirits yeah. like on things that we we never had an opportunity to talk about, but we like had fun doing it, you know? Yeah, and like. I feel blessed every single day that we get to do this. Like even Jeremy was talking to me because he was like, I'm sad. You're not doing your TikToks or like other videos. Uh -huh. And I was like, he goes, I, I enjoyed seeing how much joy that it brought you. That it brought to you. You know? And I said, but then at the same time, he's like, I'm so grateful that you're still doing the Kumare hood because he's yeah. at the sheer joy. Like, Mondays, I'm not going to lie, are my, like, hardcore stressful days for work. But for some reason, like, when we have the Kumare hood on Mondays and Thursdays, like, we are rejuvenated, and it keeps us going for the rest of the week. I agree. Yes. Okay, happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. What? Happy birthday. Hey, what's up, Rolling with the Tito? Yes, this is where we hang out every Monday. Aww. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do we say? We're <laughs> like, yes. We're here every day at 8 o'clock. Or every Monday at 8. Yes. And you'll find all three of us also on Thursday on Kumari Hood International at 9. <laughs> and it's so funny. Some of the topics are not even at all similar. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Um, like, we have off-the-wall ones. Like, I don't know. Have you noticed that our topics are so totally different? In it's the okay. Because like, we have to find our common ground with the girls from the Philippines yeah, so that I we have... Right now, we're still trying to get to know each other. So yeah. I think it's more, like, icebreaker uh, topics. They yeah. yeah. So, if you want to get to know us, also come through on Thursday. <laughs> This is nice, but I can't keep up because y'all know each other already. No, I no, stay here because there's also more of us. It's just the other half of our crew is not feeling very well today, or they have something else going on. So yeah. it's yeah. more than just us. It's it's not yeah. just the three. It's not the three of us. It's seven of us. Yes. <laughs> As you see, of the seven in the picture, there's only three of us right now. Rona, if you want to come up, come join us. Yeah, come yes. join us. We'd love to talk. How, I'd love to hear how you like Kumu, especially yeah. like your U.S., Philippines, U.S. So your story is really unique. Uh, uh, RJ, if you want to come up, you can come up. Yes, RJ. I miss you, RJ. We can sing to you. Happy birthday. Fatima will sing to you. <laughs> I was going to say, um, uh, I'll pretend I'm singing. Well, I don't want to ruin your birthday by singing. <laughs> oh, man. well, you know, it's so funny. I'm actually singing. I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm actually, I was actually asked to sing for the Philippine consulate. Wow. Celebrate Philippine independence. Hold on, hold on. To record my video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that 
That was a huge flex right there. I know. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. She said, I just have to stay in front of the Philippine consulate. <laughs> so I have to dress up this week and I'm like, oh, how do I hide all of this? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to find a Filipiniana bandana and make it like all fancy. Or, Ooh. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if I have Next anything. Month is the month. I have three weeks before this will be gone. So wait, when when do you sing? I sing on June twenty fifth. They're gonna have a huge live stream. Ooh. So get this. Guess who's gonna be on the live stream? Who? AJ Raphael. Uh huh. SB nineteen. Who did they say? I can tell you. Where did? I don't remember now. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Okay. Oh, bless. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. Thanks, Antoinette. Antoinette, if you want to come join us. Yes, uh, why are you still down there? Yeah, we only have nine more minutes, though. <laughs> oh, so, so this is the flyer. It has AJ Raphael, BGYO, Little Manila Dance Collective, Marcus Patterson and the Moofs. I don't know who the heck that is. The Grammy Award winning San Francisco Girls Chorus, SB19. And then they have Beatrice Abella, Soleil Tropicales, and uh, Jessica Sanchez. Oh, wow. American Idol. American <laughs> Idol, my parents were so excited for her. <laughs> Dude, honestly, she should have won. But because I know. Down, all the white people didn't vote for her. Of course they didn't. Hi, Brooke. Oh, we have to make a face just for Brooke. <laughs> you know she only wants your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm still laughing about that one photo. That was hella funny. That was hella funny. I was like, did she really get that? <laughs> yes, she did. So good. So, so good. Well, I, I know we're going to end soon. Did y'all have anything that you wanted to, like, share? Um, when you asked about influences in America, um, my... My stepdad's father used to pick grapes with Manong Larry. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, oh, that's like wow. super close to home. Oh, you so know? A whole revolution then. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nick. Yeah, my, my uncle um, also picked grapes. He, uh, he marked mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Wow. I don't mm -hmm. have anyone that was part of the marches. Um, that's that's super impactful. Yes, I remember, Nick. That's like super yeah. impactful. The history behind that. Mm -hmm. was, oh, oh yeah. sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. I was just gonna say because he's from Stockton, so like he knows. Um, he's known Don forever, and um, he's friends with them. I never met her, but I met her husband after she passed. To Don. Mm hmm. And we, we went to go see Leia Salonga with him <laughs> at Cash Creek. <laughs> oh, shoot. So yeah. I, have a, I have a, honestly, Don is on the list of impactful people. Mm -hmm. Um, I have actually a very sentimental story that I don't think I ever told anyone about Ate Don. Like, cause I've actually known, I knew Don for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Um, Actually, I was one of the first students that they had when she was in State. And I still remember her history class. She wanted us to do um, a paper to interview our elders. Mm -hmm. I actually thank Don so much for giving me that opportunity to interview my grandma because mm -hmm. it wasn't for that paper. I wouldn't have learned such amazing stories that she never told anyone. Yeah. Like it like makes me sad now because my grandma, I wish I could find that 
that paper because my grandma is now suffering from Alzheimer's dementia. Mm-hmm. So she doesn't even remember her own daughter. So oh. those, that story, that's yeah. like super sentimental. And I would never have had done that interview if it wasn't for, for Ate Don. Mm-hmm. You know? So, oh. yeah. And I still remember, we actually, you know, the, 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 spoken word piece you want to know what we are that was because we actually it all started from a uh, talent show that we created in Ate Don or Ate Allison and Ate Don's class Aww. an event called if you want to know what we are and it started because they shared that and I said we need to make this bigger so we made it into an actual event where we like shared and presented Wow. So not a lot of people know that story. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Dude, she's a badass and she's she cooks so good. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah. What about you, Liana? Do you have anyone that's like influenced you or like gave an impact to you? Well, um, I said you guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a given. We'll always. <laughs> I remember. Sorry, can I add? <laughs> when when she started, well, when I started hearing about Kumari culture, I was so proud of Liana. I was like, oh my god, I need a shirt now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I need her merch. Like, oh, I, I want it all. I'm still laughing because, like, the first time I met Liana, like, was at Isla. Yeah. When. We had this Kamayan style dinner that Joe hosted. Aww. Her first time ever hosting like that kind of like with influencers and entrepreneurs and people who've like really made an impact. And honestly, I didn't think I should have been there at all. But Joe, being my odd thing, she I love her to death. She always does that. She's like, I don't care. You come with me. You're my you're my like you're like my 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 like twin. We stay together. We we go together. We grow together. That's how she's. Aww. Her and I know that. Liana does that to me too. Yeah, she's like, I don't care if you know <laughs> the buddy. Like you'll just be my. She's like, just just do it. Like right. And I was like, but the kids and stuff. She's like, no, you're gonna do this. And honestly, oh, bro, so grateful for her doing that because if it wasn't, then I think I never would have met Liana. I wouldn't have met Charlene. I read, yeah, same. So- people that did we would never have take had taken those silly funny photos for cover for the cover yeah the album cover i thought those were dresses and i was like i need a dress like because so everything tracy or somebody was wearing like a black skirt and then a shirt over it and i was like i want one like i need one Seriously, it was like can you still make me one anyways i know yes <laughs> yeah, i want a dress other thing yeah my mom really likes my hoodie dress that I made that I only have for myself because I was just testing stuff out. She was like, I want one. I was like, all right, I'll eventually Aww. get to it. But Aww. yeah, it's like a hoodie dress that I made. I just haven't gone around to make more. If it wasn't for them, I maybe not in this app anymore. Oh, Brooke, love Aww. you. No, I agree. Like, life has a reason for everything. And I feel like y'all were my, like, lifeline during this pandemic. Mm-hmm. So, like... I love my family. I love my fiance. I love my kids. But there was sometimes there needed to be something that was my own. And yeah. mm-hmm. my own, that I could step away from the rest of the world, not think of work, not think of anything. Yeah. And and just enjoy laughing. Yes. About things that meant something to to us. You know? Yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like even after this pandemic, I hope that we continue to do this and continue this journey with each other and like even if we're not on live streams just co- facetiming each other all yeah. like all random hours be like hey what do you think about this topic <laughs> i know for sure but like, i do eventually want to bring this to a bigger platform as well i have a confession yes okay I'm, usher i'm trying to make that dream come true for you my friend how I am working on creating a TV pitch proposal to have it pitched to TV stations. Oh, wow. What? Surprise! 
<laughs> Wait, what did Brooke? I'm so, I was so shy before, but they believed in me, boosted right? me. All of course. Like, I know. Brooke is like a that's badass. True. I'm sorry. You are a badass. badass. I okay. would never have thought you were shy. She was really shy at first. I remember. She yeah. Out of her shell because she's yep. amazing and she's super funny. I love. Brooke's hella funny. She's hella she, funny. She takes really good screenshots. She and does. Brooke <laughs> She's like the Kumu master. Don't mess with Brooke. She and will... she did an amazing job on hip hop karaoke. Like I still, I still want to hear that. Yeah. See. Oh, what a pleasure Aww. to see Brooke blossom. I know. Aww. That's true. She has She's a big awesome. girl now. I'm so <laughs> glad we got to all witness it and be a part of that. I think you and Ron created something beautiful with Elite X and you, you definitely you you connected the dots on kumarehood like i i feel like i my life has changed because of kumarehood i never thought that i would be this vocal about talking about all the things that i'm passionate about because back in the day if you were to ask me this two years ago that i was going to be doing this honestly ladies do you think you would have believed if somebody told you i that I you'd be on here on in the beginning and i was like i'm not a live streamer <laughs> but i know when liana was like you want to join elite x i'm all hey nephew what all right shout out to post up game what up there's my son hey nephew everybody's coming out of the woodwork know, of course because we're, we're about to end <laughs> everybody does that that's messed up why do y'all do that <laughs> If we end up on TV, that would be crazy. So I already reached out to my friends who are in TV and I asked, how do I create a pitch? And so they told me all the logistics. So I'm scheduling a meeting with them to go over the whole pitch together. Wow. Once I'm ready, then I'm going to show it to y'all. And you guys need to help me put in what your inputs are. And if you really want to move forward with this, we're going to pitch it to, to TV stations. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Let me uh, get on a workout plan. <laughs> I'm supposed Shoe to do girl. it my wedding, but I'm just getting fatter and fatter every, by the minute. Like, the more I want to lose weight, the more I keep eating because I'm all like, I'm going to lose. I'm going to go exercise. So I better enjoy my goodies now. And then I'm like, shit. Just getting get fatter. on the green diet with us. Oh, just, oh your dad is going to be on the north side? What? Oh, that's awesome. What's the north side? Uh, that's actually oh. on Kumu, Canada. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's cool. You should tune in. Oh, yeah. I love I love watching his dad on YouTube, like his videos. Is it your dad's name, like the kid? No, no, no. The oh, flip, flip or something? The flip? Yeah. Yeah. He's oh, that's the cute. Kid. He's the flip and the kid flip. Oh, that yes. makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. It's so cute. Oh, but yeah. Would you guys <laughs> answer that? Body on TV? <laughs> on the you... baby? What? Well, yeah. we can always start Ooh. on Twitch and see how it goes. Yeah, I was uh, preparing for that already. For Kumarehood? Yeah. Uh, I've been preparing the for... same... Oh my god, you and me were thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitch? Yes. I was like, yeah. okay, we need to put this on Twitch. because Alex how- always asks me why we're not on Twitch or like YouTube. Tell people like our show here. Yeah. I think if yeah. we were to put it on other platforms along with Pumare Hood, I think hella people would be like, mm-hmm. have they been all our lives? There's so many people in the world that feel like us and we just don't know. Like, because that's one of the things that brought me back to Liana because I saw Kumari culture and we got into this whole conversation about the culture and like how we felt living here in Sacramento because we both came from the Bay Area and not saying that the people out here aren't nice, but like people already established a clique up here. So if you weren't already here, they didn't really want anything to do with you. Yeah. And what's crazy is I moved out here when I was in second grade and even then it was already too late. Yes. No, I totally agree. Because I went to a white elementary school. Girl. And I came in <laughs> in second grade, right? Yep. Because my parents put me in a Montessori school from from preschool all the way up until, like, kindergarten first. But then mm-hmm. they skipped me when I went to the new school. They said, no, we're going to put her in second grade. And yeah. so when they put me in second grade, I was already, like, Liana. Like, if you didn't join kindergarten, you're screwed. 
You're considered yeah. the new kid, yeah. even though you came in second grade. Yeah. Shout out to Maria Montessori, though, because I love the Montessori teachings and I hate that the school districts do that. They like completely diss everyone else's way of education Montessori and they think it's bad. Absolutely amazing. I but really Montessori know. teaches you to be independent. Yeah, I it's like It's not that. even independent. They teach you... They teach you all kinds of stuff. They, te- they let you learn at your own pace. Yes. So even though you're ahead of the students, they they value that and they say, yeah. keep going. They, they encourage your growth. They're not going to keep you with everyone else. They don't impede you. I was already reading at a college level when I was in fourth grade. See? And I got in trouble for that. They said, you're reading too fast. And that shouldn't be something you get in trouble for. Yeah. They were ooh, like, you're we could talk about education next. Oh, ooh, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> that's pride. your topic, Leilani. That's your next topic. Yeah. Next ooh. week is Pride. Uh, next, Char- after Charlene, yeah. Moderating that. Maybe after that, you could do education. Yes. Okay. So uh, next week, we have to dress pride out. Yeah. Like, balls to the Oh, yeah. Like, Ooh, I have my pride outfit ready. I don't have one. I think I got rid of my shirt that I had. I'm so sad because I walked um, in the pride parade with Apple, and I had an Apple shirt. But when we had a bunny, it ate my shirt. Aww. It was such a cool shirt. You should just fix it and wear it anyway. Oh, no, it's gone. That thing ate it. Like, it ate the shirt and it ate my TV cord and my shelf. And then we realized we should have put it in a cage. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be very colorful. Yes. yes. Let's go. Let's rainbow it up. I'm a. I'm going to do Rainbow that. makeup. I'm going to do. Do you want to do it? We'll yes. do it the rainbow thing. That but wait, we have to put it opposite. Because when we were on cam. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. We're on cam. <laughs> Right. You know what? Forget it. Just do whatever. Co- Maybe just do it this way. We'll know. We'll know. Horizontal. We'll do two rainbows. We'll just make it double rainbow. Two rainbows. Yes. Ooh, special. And then, I'll, I'll, and then for the pride special, I'll roll my eyes or try to. <laughs> awesome. It's a special. Leilani and I will do a roll, eye roll special. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to think of what I'll do. Then. Our skill. Special. We got to do special something special for pride. We should. I'll make a. I'll, I'll make a different uh cover photo specifically for that. I was gonna say, are you gonna give trick tips and tricks for how to work out? <laughs> Good. Yes. No, I you could. should make a pride drink. You should make a pride drink. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that'll be fun. Sounds good, especially since Elite X will be selling liquor soon. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the brand yet. Oh, but, uh, I have a question about that. But I have to ask Antoinette. Are you still there? We had an idea. Yes. Uh, we had an idea, a collaboration idea. But we need to talk what? to you because we <laughs> oh, <40 Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Liana said liquor and it reminded me of what you the idea you had. So we should talk to them and see how we could swing that. Hey, was it? Would you like to do a yes, plant happy hour? Huh? Or Infanta? Ooh. Wait, wait, what? Would Kumarehood like to do a, a collaboration with Infanta? We could. I'm technically sponsored by Infanta. So oh, yeah. that's... We yeah, should that's to Brandy what... and say, I wa- we want to make a drink called Beck Beck Juice. They already have. They do? Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, we were wanting... A Kep Power Juice drink. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we should make an energy drink called Kep Kep Power. I know, huh? <laughs> I mean, maybe a sex enhancement pill too, with coconut oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just gonna be all the fruits shaped like gep oh, in one oh, yeah. one beverage. I was gonna say we can call it broccoli juice, but then that defeats the whole purpose. Because, um, sorry, because um, Antoinette and I were like. Well, it was more her idea, but she was like, let's do a plant happy hour. And then I was just now, I was like, oh, we could just call it broccoli juice, but that's not. So would you be mixing those two together? I would like to do that. Anything's possible. I got to, I got to buy, I got to go to Total Wine to to get some. Oh, that's where it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, Brooke had got the free samples because it was only for Philippines only. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Brooke is getting turned. The sample liquor. 
But uh, yeah. So I don't know exactly when it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna start at the end of the month. Okay. I want to do like a meetup if we can, because I don't want to. You know, maybe we can drink it together, take shots yeah. together. We can yes. So party. we were uh, like, we can have can... a sampling party. Yes. Yeah. Sample, sample. Well, yeah. we're already at the nine forty mark, so I know. Oh yeah. The shut down, but I just wanted to say, ladies, I love you very much, and I'm so grateful for you, and I'm oh. thankful for all of us doing kumarehood and happy Philippine Independence Day. Stay safe, stay stay healthy, get vaccinated. Hey, if you can. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, and she comes now. If you're in California and you need help getting you. vaccinated, holler at your girl. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna come up for a minute? We were going to leave, but you can come up for two seconds. Just so we can take a picture. No, I'm Kaka. Oh, oh I, thought you were, I thought that's what you're doing. <laughs> Wait, are you going Kaka or are you, you oh. are? Because <laughs> if you are, thanks for thinking. Oh, about. I feel like Kaka. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Hope you feel better soon. I feel like the weather is not helping because it's hella hot, then it's hella oh, windy. That's and... like the worst time to have your period when it's hella hot. Ugh. Seriously, it's like when you're not pregnant, dude. You're just like, <laughs> yeah, it's disgusting. Ugh. I well, hate it. Well, I'm praying for all y'all. Stay healthy, safe. Yes. Oh, there she is. Ah, Hi. Boo. You missed your honey boo. He was on. He came over and visited. Well, he'll oh. be live soon, right? They're live right now. Well, they are. The notification. Yeah, we're a little Filipino time over here. Yeah. We got distracted. We got a little <laughs> sentimental at the end. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but while you're here, we were talking about our influences and we love each other. Okay. We yeah. are yes. we, y'all, we're each other's we're influences. Each, we are each other's influence. That's why I surround myself with you guys because you guys are hella good. Oh. Like, oh. I'm not going to surround myself with, with boo boo people. Or uh, caca people. Or caca <laughs> people. <laughs> Oh, I agree. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. I well, think tonight it's Kumu Cali. There's other people on Kumu USA. It's just yes. tonight. It's They're just not here right now. Cali. <laughs> it's, it's the quality of time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's take a quick okay. picture since Joe's here. Ready? I said, my it's hair a... today. Well done. My hair looks like ish. I'm trying to hide it. Oh, now. girl, this is not ideal right now. Uh, so, did I tell you someone said they thought I was 55? Shut up. Oh, Sorry, no. I don't mean that in a mean way. You know that. You know that, though. I know. I was like, ew, really? Y'all make me cry. Rude. Okay. One, two, three. Yay. All right. We have our one and done. I'm so good, y'all. Me too. And you know what the funny thing is? I keep hearing the kids screaming outside because it's so hot. I think they're playing in the backyard at 9 o'clock. Oh. That's nice, though. Yeah. No, because they're trying to find the raccoon. Oh, yeah, that's not okay. No, <laughs> they need to come inside. <laughs> they're trying to wait for... What? Tell them um, don't go outside because the duendes are out. <laughs> oh, that's right. You have raccoons in your backyard. They, like, live there. They it's call one it. It's one raccoon. It's one Sorry. Raccoon. Do you think it's raccoon one? I hope it's one. You made me nervous, girl. Sorry. Tell your kids to come inside. Why are they outside playing with the yeah, raccoon? No. no, because Yasmin saw the raccoon last night. Okay, did I tell y'all what happened? Okay, we have a few minutes. I'll just say it. So we watched um, <laughs> the, the movie. In the Heights? Sorry. On, on uh, HBO Max. What did you think? What did you so think? did I, again. I, I really liked it, but I didn't really like it. Talk about it. There's so much CGI, but they had to do that because of the pandemic. That was sorry. I'm just gonna say it. CGI, and I was getting irritated about that. And then, like, there were certain areas I was just like, "Hmm, like what?" I don't know. I feel like it. They could have done more on some parts. That's all. Like what? Yet, I've been stuck. I still loved it though. Stuck on three. I really love the group. Oh, I love the group numbers. Like, oh yes. Like those were really good. I really hated the song with Nina and what's his name? Thanks, the one, they were climbing. Oh, Benny. 
Benny. Oh, the on the bricks. On the. Okay, so when I saw that when they slid down the bricks, I was like, "Ooh, my back." Hold on. Don't you dare, because my bra's going to get stuck to one of these bricks. I was like, like a rash on my legs. Dude. Yes, that's I, why I was like, no, this is clearly fake, obviously. Yeah, but it I, was cute, because the it, kid in the window was like... <laughs> oh, that was my favorite part. Yeah. It was like, oh, what the heck? Yeah. But I was just kind of like, this is too fake. You know yeah. what I mean? And I know I get it. It's the whole, like, in the clouds, being in the yes. like thing. Like, that's a John Chu move. But yeah. I think John Chu. Yeah. <laughs> but what did you think of the song itself? Like, did you like the song, or was that like not part of what you liked about it, or not liked about it? What? Like, the singing was good. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'm just biased because um, Ariel Jacobs was Nina in the original nights, uh, and actually, I actually know she was not. It was Mandy Gonzalez oh, and her voice. Mandy Gonzalez and Karen know. Olivo as the women. Yeah, completely yeah. different from... I tried hard not to compare them, but it kept, like... <laughs> I kept comparing. Yeah. That, that was the issue I was having. Like, I kept comparing the the cast to... Yeah. The OBC, right? Yeah. I love seeing Christopher Jackson, though, as Mr. Soft. <laughs> that was my favorite part. That was when so he- cute. Liana's like, 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 Liana's like, I didn't see anything. I have no sorry. Clue. I love okay. that they had Lin Manuel as the palotera man. Yes. Then I yeah. love Piragua. 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 Okay. But then the <laughs> my favorite was when I saw Chris Williams. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I know it's funny because my boyfriend, um, you know, when I made him watch Hamilton, he's like, okay, I, really, I liked it. And I was like, okay. So then when we watch In the Heights, he goes, oh, hey. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's his show. I'm not going to lie, though. Like, I love Hamilton. I absolutely yeah. love Hamilton. But Washington, when he sang, one yeah. last time. That's yeah. seriously my absolute favorite yeah. Song. I love that song every too. Every time he sings it, I cry. Me too. Every single time, and like, and and like that note that he did in the movie one, it's like, boom. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's like ugly cry. Like, uh-huh. Oh, you felt every single emotion in that one note, and mm-hmm. I was like. And so every time I see him, I, he has a soft spot in my heart. Every yes. Time. Chris Jackson. <laughs> Christopher Jackson. But she said Washington because that's who he plays, you know? I um, When I was in New York in 2008, it was like a couple of months after they won the Tony for Best Musical for yes. In the Heights. For In the Heights. And um, my friend and I were in the lobby. We were taking pictures in front of the marquee and and the poster of the of the. Um, of in the Heights and we we're trying to take selfies and we didn't have no good cell phone at the time. We actually had a camera. And then, um, and then I hear a, a lady say, Hey, this was in the lobby. Let me take your picture for you. Like, yeah. 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 It's Mandy Gonzalez. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was Mandy. nice. Like they didn't even go through the, you know, they have a stage door. Yeah. yeah. Go back. They didn't even use the stage door. They went through the, the lobby to leave. Cause that's they nice. Like, they knew they were going to get mobbed at the sage door yeah so they go the other way so we left with them and the girl who played carla and then we went to sage door and then i was like where's karen where's karen oh, oh my god i love her i hear i'm here and she grabs my playbill and so, oh. I, yeah. so I got to meet oh my god i would have uh, lost it yeah I met, <laughs> Nick, I met chris um mandy vanessa and the guy who played, um, I forgot his name, the guy who played Sonny. Anthony Ooh. Ramos? Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Or, original, original um, Sonny. Original oh, Sonny. I thought it was, no, it wasn't him? No. Was he not in that? Okay, true. Did y'all like the movie or did you not like oh, it? Oh, yeah. I watched it for the fourth time last night. I like the movie because it, it closed up a lot of gaps from yes, the Yes, it did. But then... Did you not like it? I didn't like it because they took out two of my favorite songs. 
That's what I love. They took out um, Sunrise and they took out. Yeah. They took out everything I know. Yes. Yeah. They should have kept those, but. Can I tell you though? Can I tell you something? When we were at the theater, hmm. I, I did see somebody go like this. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Sorry. They should just have tissue in the door. <laughs> like at the door. He, yeah, he cried. No. Uh, don't, tell him, don't tell him I told y'all. He cried. <laughs> Jeremy didn't watch it. He got, he was like, I'm good. He, he went to the bedroom and watched something else. But the, yes. the kids and I sat, stayed up late just to watch it. But did I, I didn't tell you the funny part that happened after we watched the movie, though. But after we watched the movie, I was like, let me go. I was like, all right, it's late. Go to bed. I know it's Saturday, but y'all go to bed, right? Uh -huh. So they go to bed. They're they're about to leave. But I said, let me check the backyard just to make sure. Ooh. Really? You got to share, show, share your food? So <laughs> Look at us. Like, <laughs> we all just stopped. <laughs> yes. Our just dropped. Our life <laughs> validating. <laughs> I know where I go. Well, anyway, back to it. So the raccoon <laughs> was in the backyard right when I opened the curtain, right? Oh, and my I God. He slammed my hand hella hard on the glass, and he just looked at me like, what? So I opened the <laughs> sliding glass door, and at 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm screaming, you mother Get the, <laughs> out of my the raccoon was like, "What's wrong? What's happening?" <laughs> Did it run Is away? there an intruder in our backyard? Yeah, I know. He's like, "What? What? What? What are we looking <laughs> at?" Okay, or did he just was just like, "Who is she yelling at?" <laughs> yeah, the raccoon's like, "Do I need to help you? Like, what are we getting rid <laughs> of?" <our> backyard. <laughs> that raccoon thinks it lives there. <laughs> the raccoon literally looked around like, huh? What? <laughs> and until I opened the sliding one and I started running out, then he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you didn't name it yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, this is the funny part. Instead of the kids being scared, Yasmin's screaming, he's so cute. Can we keep him? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> You're dirty. Just because it's your birthday doesn't mean we're keeping the raccoon, okay? So dirty. <laughs> no. Goes, oh my god! And then she goes, "I'ma name him Bob." I was like, <laughs> "Bob." And then Nero's like agreeing with her, like, "Yeah, yeah, let's name him Bob." And I'm like, "We're not keeping the raccoon." <laughs> Thank you for all the holo hollows. Thank you. That's hilarious. We're such goofs. We're such goofs in our life. Uh, Man, I wish I joined y'all earlier. This is you missed it. It was it's happening. okay. You weren't feeling good. You got to rest. You no, know. you should have sucked it up and been here. No. <laughs> oh, thank you for the gifts. No, I think the flow is this. Is, I usually never. I thug it out usually, but no. like, it's been like this like the last couple of days. Ugh. I was in Milpitas with um with Jay's family, and I was like in bed like majority of the time. Oh, I was in I was in his niece's bed. Oh no! Yeah. So it's okay. You need to, girl. We all know when you get your regla, you're like screw that. Done with know. everything. Like yeah. yesterday, I told Jeremy, I was like, I think it's coming. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. I don't get it while we're at Disneyland. It's all good. I'm going to Disneyland next month. I oh, Disneyland. yay! So. How come I'm not with you? <laughs> no, I'm not about to pay for those tickets. Like, we told the kids we're waiting till they release the annual pass and when they open it for full, like, time and full capacity. Yeah. It's not worth it for us as a family to go. Yeah. It's going to cost. Fifteen hundred just for the tickets mm. for yeah, us to take the kids for um for park hopper for me and Jay it's one it was three eighty eight yeah see but the only girl. reason we're going is just to go to Star Wars and Avengers of course ah, that's the only reason why we want to go for Star Wars and Avengers yeah like, my nephew's there right now yeah I'm a little sad we didn't go when they released on May fourth the the special limited edition set that had um, Ray or 
Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and Princess Leia's lightsaber. It was like, like a box set. Oh. Do you know how much they sell? They sold it for at Disneyland. They sold it for three hundred. Online, it's going for almost like three thousand dollars. Shit! Wow. Oh my gosh! I'm building a lightsaber. Ooh! Yeah, really? that's cool. Like from scratch? Yeah, the customized one. Whoa! Oh wait, you're gonna do it at Disneyland, right? Yeah, I thought you were making it yourself. I was like, "What you're gonna do? Like, oh, this, <laughs> like this?" If you, if you notice, you like, have like, dual purpose. It could be a workout toy too. I cannot <laughs> now because it does not vibrate. But um, some of them do. Some of them do. Kind of <laughs> I'll uh, get a red one. I'll get a red one. I'll be part of the Sith. Ooh! Did I tell you that DRL found the black crystal? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, is there a show at 10 o'clock tonight? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Okay. Just to be safe. You got five minutes. Oh, uh, no. Wait, what? For I'm a show. There is a show tonight on Kumu USA at 10. Are we hella late? <laughs> I'm hella late. Is there a show? I'm checking. Hold on. No, there isn't. Okay, we're okay then. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's why I was checking my messages just to make sure, like, hey, get off now. <laughs> no, it's only tomorrow. T- tomorrow is Thud Rumble. Do they get Do they get upset when we stay later, though? No, I but think. No, they- I mean, we don't want to go into other people's time, though. Yeah. Do they enjoy our content? I'm curious. I'm hoping they do. <laughs> I don't know if they do watch it. <laughs> Like, I hope they do. They're still letting you do it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be on this channel for a while. Who? Kumari Hood's going to be on this channel for a while. Really? Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I was telling Liana what I, I reached out to some friends. Should I talk about it again? Sure. So, I've been thinking... Sorry, I have to move. The person who got me enticed on this bug of thinking of it was actually Chef Charlene about how people really need to see us like on Kumu and everywhere else because we're badasses. You know what I mean? So I'm actually, I reached out to some friends to see how to pitch for television. <laughs> She said, whoop, whoop, you know what's funny? with her hand. You know what's funny, Manang? Uh. I was even going to ask um, a photographer to do, like, shots of us, like, I don't know, all in black or something like that, just looking like badasses. I think we should. That would be cool. Like, <clears throat> kind of like what we did, Liana, for that, where you didn't even get your pictures, I think, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like well. that, right? But, like. I really like my photographer. I really like Caitlin. She but really like good. when Charlene comes back, you know? Yeah. Kind of like a Vanity Fair type um, shoot. Yes. That's fun. So sick. Right? But I actually am working to see. I'm doing the research to see how we can create an actual television pitch for Kumara Hood to be on like TV. TFC. ABS or what That's else? Good. What other channels are those? I'm or- talking about like our stations, like PBS, care, like NBC, like oh, like more like, like actual network, or even syndicate on like Paramount. Shit, I'd be okay with Paramount. <laughs> wow, dang! She I said, "Forget all network. these little places. We're just gonna go straight to an app, <laughs> another like, app." I thought we were gonna go like. Start small. Like, I know, I'm all like, PBS. <laughs> the public broadcasting station. This is my take. With this Mr. Is, Rogers. This is my take. We've been doing this for a year. Mm-hmm. We've really established ourselves like with amazing conversation and content. We have the analytics behind us. I know it's only on one platform, but we can learn from other platforms as we go. But I think it's something that people need to hear. And especially they have Bling Empire. Mm. 
they have that. So why can't we create an age like a talk version of what we do? They mm-hmm. have it with you. They have the real real. Why can't they have Kumarehood? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we're hella cute. We're hella cute. That's true. <laughs> and I think Even I with think... my white hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the Lola. I'll be no. the Lola. <laughs> no, your hair is on trend. Everyone's dyeing their hair like that, so Oh man. True. We'll see how it looks in July. But what do you think? Do you think I should go for go for it? I mean, there's no hurt in trying. There's no hurt in trying, but do we have a plan B? We have Twitch. We YouTube. Have YouTube. We have YouTube. Yeah, we can. Why don't Why don't we Why don't we build um, our brand on YouTube? monetize that so that yeah. we do pitch to bigger companies like we'll have you know like this is how many people are watching you know Ooh, liana if we do that you need to make merch i will help you i definitely think <laughs> Sorry. We, like, I, but i definitely think we should consider doing twitch still too though mm-hmm. like live show on twitch don't speak we- that on kumu what <sighs> no we'll do both <clears throat> just don't say the other places like editors we'll go on editors bitch <laughs> look Bro- brooks down there offering to help for merch. <laughs> yeah I, that was that was my plan last year was go to the philippines and be able to have commodity stuff out there but uh you know obviously covid got in the way but mm-hmm. i don't know um eventually i do want to go out there and see what we can do because i do i do want to sponsor a few streamers uh for for uh commodity culture. Mm. So that's yeah. how sweet of you to do that. Yeah, so that's the that's the plan. There's lots to do. You're not you can't retire commodityhood yet, Liana. Nah, she just started. Oh, we just started. We've only just, just begun. Started. <laughs> we hella just took over Kuba USA. <laughs> We're like, this is our channel now. No. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you should get going. I know. Right? Yeah, actually, yeah. It's already 10 and I still hear the kids screaming outside. At the raccoon? At their new pet? I'm At a Bob. horrible parent. <laughs> They're like, Bob, come inside. It's their summer. I know like, they're playing outside, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't make me laugh. Bob, come inside. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Bob, stay outside. You should just leave this backyard and never come back. Honestly, I was looking for something to throw at him to get him to run away. And I think I found the right thing to do it, but I don't want to be come at by Peter or anything. You didn't buy that high pitch thing? I'm all the high pitch sound. That is <laughs> didn't work. It made us, our ears. No joke. Apparently, I have really good hearing for a hella high pitch, like so much that it's the same p- pitch that the kids can hear. That they're like this. I mean, me and the kids are all like this. We're like, okay. And now you can get the spiky fence things. Okay. I got the spiky thing. It didn't work. What? He kicked it off. What? Dang. Okay. You know what? Just keep Bob. Okay. That is your pet now. <laughs> Bob has. Bob just wants some love, okay? He does. Maybe you could feed him and he'll leave you alone. Like, you know, just oh, leave food for him. Tell me don't feed the raccoon. Cause then... yeah. Okay, but look at him. He is all up in your backyard. He is your raccoon. <laughs> My Bob. Oh, raccoons are gross. They're dirty. They are, though. <laughs> They're dirty. They are. I'm. You know, I'm joking, but you know. It's kind of funny because you've tried all these things and he's like, well, nope. It's not like That's- violent like some raccoons where they attack people. I know. Well, did I tell y'all I sprayed the entire, well, no. We sprayed it with peppermint spray. Like, with yeah. Peppermint. Didn't work. I put chili pepper flakes all throughout the lawn. Did not work. <laughs> That raccoon was like, you know what? I love it spicy. Thanks. Hello, racist. <laughs> I like your hot sauce. No, I'm all like, he likes the he likes the spice, dude. Okay. 
<laughs> That's why he likes your house. He's a spice boy. <laughs> Bob Spice. Oh my gosh. My mom's online. She goes, don't play with the raccoon. It's bad. <laughs> Seriously, though. Hi, Mom. Hi, Auntie. Uh, my We're phone's about to die, y'all. I know. I know I have, mine was about to die, too. I just plugged my phone in. But yeah, we should get going. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, have a good one. You too. Love you Bye, guys. everybody. Bye. See you guys next Monday. Probably head over to the Hub for Wait right now on Ron Sora's stream. Bye. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, Tita. A different phone. Bye, Mom. Love you. Bye, Brooke.